Professor Fallowfield, thank you for coming to talk to us today. You're a Professor of Psycho-Oncology at Brighton and Sussex Medical School, University of Sussex, where you are Director of the Sussex Health Outcomes Research and Education and Cancer, Shaw C Group. Could you tell us a little about the work the group does, please? Sure. Well, first of all, thank you for inviting me. SHORSI stands, as you just said, for Sussex Health Outcomes Research and Education in Cancer, and um, that's basically what we do. Um, we measure health outcomes predominantly within cancer, and we do lots of education work. We're a bit like Gaul, really, split into three parts. The first part is our work within usually clinical treatment trials of cancer therapy where we measure the um, patient reported outcomes, the quality of life um, within different national and international studies. We also actually develop some of the sorts of instruments or measures that are often used in these studies. So that's a major part of the work, lots of clinical trials measuring patient reported outcomes. The second component of our work is basic psychosocial oncology. So we look at um, evaluating ameliorative interventions that are aimed at helping patients cope with the worst side effects of treatment. So for example, we recently conducted a study where we were looking at the um, value of auricular acupuncture in head and neck cancer patients being treated by radiotherapy who'd got really dreadful xerostomia, chronic dry mouth. And we did a randomised trial of that intervention and found that our primary endpoint, which was resolution of dry mouth, was actually um, reached. So ameliorative interventions and evaluating them. And then the third component of our work, the education part, is running communication skills training programs for healthcare professionals. We've lots of evidence-based courses that help, for example, healthcare professionals talking about recruitment to clinical trials or just general communication between themselves, multidisciplinary team working and um, general communication issues with patients. As part of that work, we also do a lot of work with patients making, if you like, information, patient-friendly information DVDs to help patients when they're considering um, giving informed consent to joining a clinical trial. So you might well find that um, although patients are given patient information sheets to read, most of these now, apart from being incredibly lengthy, most of them are more about avoiding litigation than genuinely helping patients understand what they're letting themselves in for. So we do a lot of work um, with patients and healthcare professionals designing these DVDs to um, help ensure that they really do understand what the basic principles are. Your seminar today was entitled Why Patient Reported Outcomes Matter. Could you explain how patient reported outcomes differ from adverse events as recorded in, for example, clinical trials and what value they provide in both trial and clinical settings? Well, I think if you want the um, real proper answer to that question, you ought to actually just listen to the <laughs> lecture. <laughs> but um, in short, um, we've known for some time now that adverse events as reported by the doctors and research nurses that actually get published when you're evaluating the worth and benefit, the harms and the benefits of new drugs, they really fail to capture very often the extent um, of many common symptoms um, that patients experience. They're under-recognised, under-reported and therefore from the poor patient's point of view, under-treated. And what patient reported outcomes mean is that you're actually going directly to the patient with nobody intervening to interpret what the patient is saying. And there are well validated um, instruments for doing this and increasingly organisations such as the FDA, the EMA and other health technology um, groups are looking at patient reported evidence for the benefit and the harms of a drug, not just AE collections. 
fantastic. Thank you once again, Professor Fallowfield. Pleasure.